Hey guys, Dirty here from Cinecam, and recently we've collaborated with Adobe to make an illustrated short called Game Over. Now we basically worked with 2D illustrations and I placed myself into the sceneries as I interact with the environment. It was definitely a lot of fun to work on this project. So let's have a look at how I created those 3D sceneries using an Illustrator After Effects workflow. First things first, we're gonna need an illustration. For the last scene, I was looking for a lava cave, so I came across a perfect scene on Adobe Stock. Very important is that you look for a vector illustration, as we're gonna need to work with the different layers, so JPEGs are not gonna work. Once downloaded, we can start with Illustrator, and what you wanna do is place every group of elements together in a separate layer. Once we're gonna bring this inside After Effects, the same layers and the naming will appear back. Now, what if you don't have these layers yet? For instance, I also downloaded a dragon for within the lava cave. Unfortunately, this one is not layered. Now, most vector illustrations have their elements grouped together, and this allows us to easily move an entire group. However, I don't need that, as I'm going to make some adjustments. In the Layers menu, when we expand the first layer, you'll find a group. This indicates that everything is grouped together. You can now also have multiple groups or even groups within groups. Now for now, I'm just going to right click on my image and choose ungroup. I can now select every element separate, which makes it a little bit easier for me. Now for instance, I don't like the smoke, so I'm just going to delete those layers. And finally, I'd like to have the head of the dragon sit in a separate layer. So I'm going to select the head, and if you accidentally select it too much, you can hold down shift and click to add or remove layers from your selection. In the layers window, we can now find back where those elements are at with the blue indicator. But first, let's create a new global layer where we want to move these two. Click on the plus icon at the bottom of the window to create a new layer, and I'm going to rename this one to Head. Then select all of those head layers. When selecting the first one, you can hold down Shift to click on the last one in a row to select the entire row. You can control click on the first one of the next row and repeat by Shift clicking the last one. We can now drag all of these elements into the heads layer. And that's it. We've got the body into one layer and the head into a second layer. All right, let's save the illustration file and fire up Adobe After Effects. I'm going to double click in the projects panel to locate and select the two Illustrator files. Now, before clicking import, make sure that you import these as a composition and not as footage. Now I like to avoid retaining layer sizes as that will misplace the layers and you're going to have to reposition them again. Once imported, you'll find a new composition that is created for each illustration file and a folder with the dedicated layers. When opening one of these in a composition, you'll see that we've got every layer to work with. I'm gonna change the composition settings to my likings. You can do this by hitting Ctrl K or by right clicking the composition and choosing composition settings. Set a custom resolution like 1920 by 1080 and perhaps a different frame rate. Hit OK and we're going to select all the layers to scale them up and fill the composition. And the first thing you might notice is the very bad pixelated quality. And that is because After Effects is seeing these as rasterized layers. Vector files have the great advantage of being able to scale infinite without quality loss. So we're going to enable that from the layer toggles as well. And there we go. We've got our illustration file inside After Effects, and we can now start working on every layer separately. Now, if there's anything that you'd like to change inside the Illustrator file, then you're always able to do that. So switching back to Illustrator, I'm going to change the highlight color of the wall in the back. Now let's make it glow more and pick a very saturated red. Now, simply save the Illustrator file and hop back into After Effects, and that's it. It's automatically updated. So as I was working on Game Over, I always had the two programs open as I would swap back and forward between the two. Now one last thing to mention is that whenever you choose to add a new layer in Illustrator, like this tiny dragon which I like to have in the background, it will not update automatically in After Effects because it's a new layer. To solve that, we're going to have to import the Illustrator file again, but this time as footage. This will allow us to choose a specific layer, which is gonna be that dragon. We can now go ahead and move this new layer into the composition as well. And this is the workflow between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. You can check out my animated short and more tutorials through a playlist in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.